folks, this is Josh, and um, I wanted to try and get uh, this sort of a game started where... For Chris McNeely, what's good? Foundations can't be moved without destroying the building. If the foundation of this building we're in right now were moved, what would happen to the building? And here is something from the front page of Perfect World. An ancient Pangu prophecy foretold the destruction of Perfect World. The land of Perfect World will suffer destruction the likes of which has never been seen. The world will be torn apart, leaving massive crevices across its surface. The oceans will rage with turmoil, and the tides will swallow everything in their path. The races of the world thrown into chaos will not understand what is happening to their beautiful world. <coughs> the time of the prophecy has come. However, within the depths of the underground, an ancient race of people with arcane powers and innate psychic abilities has foreseen the coming of this post-apocalyptic world. In knowing the future, they have dedicated their lives to prepare for such a day. As one of these Earth Guard, the time has finally come for you to emerge from the underground and fight alongside the allied races through the coming disaster. And God's not afraid of who or how you worship because he knows sooner or later, if you're truly seeking, he'll save you. God's not insecure. He's confident. And so we need to come to him, see him as he is in that. And back to the story of gas prices rising over Libya's turmoil. As fighting continues in Libya and young people in the Middle East threaten similar uprisings, the price of oil continues to rise, which could dramatically affect the nation's economy. Fierce fighting continues on the streets of Libya, despite the deadly use, the deadly use of force. Moammar Gaddafi's supporters, opposition forders have pushed closer to Libya's capital of Tripoli and have said they're more united than ever. The turmoil abroad has added pressure on gas prices in the U.S. The price of a barrel of oil has spiked 18% in the last 10 days. Unrest in the Middle East has made oil speculators nervous. What, effect, what it affects is the market, said Brian Neubacher, Director of Public Affairs for the American Automobile Association. And with the fear of unrest spreading to bigger oil-producing countries like Saudi Arabia or Iran, that's what's driving us. According to AAA, the average price nationwide for a gallon of regular gas is $3.28. It's gone up to a dollar, up a dollar twenty since last August, and it's just killing us," said Henry Bishop, a truck owner and driver. The higher gas prices also threatens to slow down the already fragile U.S. economy. Every dollar increase in the price of gasoline cuts consumer spending by $120 billion," said John Osborne of Osborne Capital Management. That's a lot of money. Saudi Arabia has entered into talks with European refiners about making up the shortfall caused by disrupted oil production in Libya. That move has brought oil prices down by just a few dollars. <coughs> However, continued political unrest in the richest oil producing countries in the world has kept speculators on edge. Once the turmoil in Libya has ended, gas prices are expected to fall. However, analysts say don't get used to it. With a higher demand for oil and gas in developing countries, the trend in the coming months and years could be higher gas prices than many Americans will want to pay. I, um, well, basically, um, I used to play D&D &D a lot when I was, um, younger. And, um, 
it's always something in my mind that, you know, I'd always like to, you know, try and get going again. Um, but with my um, amazingly tight work schedule, you know, um, but also just, you know, having Christian values now and um, other concerns, um, the idea of doing a game like this and also having something to, you know, that... Um, <coughs> that you know, I'm not always sure if I can stick with it or not. Um, I kind of want to go back to an idea that a friend of mine started um, back when I was like a teenager, and it was simply, um, you know, the kind of uncertain beginning where, um, you know, starts off as sort of like a choose your own adventure story, and um, wherever it goes, it goes kind of a thing. And I've tried to do many of those in the past that have had explanations or not had explanations. And now with the fact that I have a new MacBook, um, I, and, and well, with the camera and all, um, meaning that I can do a quick, um, I, I want to do a, I want to do something where, um, I would kind of mix a little bit of vlogging, you know, a pre-written story mixed in with, um, you know, the dice rolling and all that stuff. Um, so what I was going to suggest is, um, at this point, I'm not really sure where I'm going to actually house or, or host um, this particular game. I'm kind of torn between Mythweavers and Obsidian Portal. Um, but what it basically boils down to is I really do want to start another um, D&D game, um, one that's played on laptops and computers, not so much pen and paper. Um... And there's a lot of tools out there that can help you if you're interested in this sort of thing. Um, I don't know exact stuff, and I'm not going to re recommend specific stuff. Um, but if you have an iPhone or maybe even a Droid, you might find this on. Um, there's a lot of dice roller apps. There's a lot of character generation apps. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, can basically help. Um, one thing, though, is... Um, not completely versed in, uh, I, I do want to use the Dungeons and Dragons system of gameplay, but I'm not completely versed in 4.0, so this is going to be a, um, 3.0 or 3.5 at best, uh, based game, and if at some point, um, people and me can make it... Okay. Hey there folks, it's Josh, and um, this is going to be a Josh Tube segment, and um, that's because I'm going to read to you something that I don't get to read very often, um, and that's a lot, largely because um, there's always someone, you know, around the house that... Um, around the room or around wherever I am here at Misfit Acres and I get self-conscious reading stuff when other people in the room even if it's just you know Facebook feeds which is what I'm going to read to you um, the feeds from my Facebook that aren't Christian or religious in nature because I never get to read them because usually when I'm reading from Facebook it's always one of the Christian or religious nature um, type things so here we go from Dungeon Overlord, have you paid your elven neighbors a visit? Elven settlements litter the overworld. Elves reside in villages, towns, and cities. They have developed military settlements, keeps, castles, fortresses, and citadels. Selecting the lower level settlements will give you an idea of the troops you will need for a successful raid. Military settlements are very dangerous and take a strong, well-planned army. Show your strength, garner great rewards, and earn bragging rights. Show those elves who's boss. But don't be surprised when they send a retaliation attack. Play Dungeon Overlord now. <clears throat> um, from Hey, It's Free. Glory Day's Grill Birthday Freebie. I don't know what exactly this Glorious Day Grill Birthday Freebie is, but I know I want it. Anything with Oreos in them has to be delicious. You could give me an Oreo punch in the face, and I'm sure I'd ask for seconds. 